Notice anything different about this carrier ship? It's been fitted with two special sails called wind wings, which study how harnessing wind power can cut emissions and energy usage in the shipping sector. This voyage is the five-year-old Pixis Ocean's first with its new sails. A first of many as the maritime industry as a whole explores new technologies in an attempt to move away from dirty bunker fuel. The maritime industry's got a decarbonisation challenge ahead of it. Um, this is not going to solve the problem entirely, but it's, it's a step in the right direction. Cargill, one of the world's largest shipping charterers, has been developing the Pixis Ocean's nearly 125-foot-tall Wind Wings pilot project for years. It's a course companies in the maritime industry have been forced to take, as investors and environmental groups push them to accelerate decarbonization in an industry which accounts for nearly 3% of global CO2 emissions. But as new technologies blossom, the idea of harnessing wind for energy is an old one. Before the switch to steam and diesel engines, wind was once the common way of propelling ships. It is a kind of back to the future, if you like. Simon Schofield is the chief technology officer at Bar Technologies, the company that developed wind wing sails, which were then built by Norway's Yara Marine Technologies. When you see an aircraft come to land and it deploys its it's the leading edge flap and it's flaps at the back when, you, when a plane lands. We do something very, very similar, which allows us to control what we call the camber, the shape of the wing, which controls the amount of power. Then we can align the wing at any direction compared to the, the wind direction. And this is done all automatically and it maximizes the amount of energy we're effectively harvesting from the, from the wind. The sails don't only cut down CO2 emissions, Schofield adds, it also cuts down how much fuel they purchase. He says the Pixis Ocean can save up to 40% of fuel consumption, which he believes is a step in the right direction, considering how expensive fuel has become. This has got the potential to be, be mainstream. Obviously, it doesn't suit all vessels uh, because of practical reasons, but certainly on bulk carriers and tankers, we can see you know, a large proportion of new builds and a, and a huge number of retrofits in the in the coming years being fitted with wind technology of, of one sort or another. Um, both from a you know an environmental standpoint but also as, as uh, the cost of fuels become more expensive and especially the adoption of future fuels uh, it's going to mean that it becomes economically a bit of a no-brainer as well. Cargill says the Pixis Ocean will sail from Singapore to Brazil and is then likely to transport a cargo of grain to Denmark. The vessel is said to then remain in the North Atlantic area to maximize wind usage. <laughs>